Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an award-winning journalist with an illustrious career on CNN, radio, and at the helm of his own news show on TV One. And of course, you know he's also an author, and currently you can catch his digital show, Hashtag Roland Martin Unfiltered. Please welcome to the Sister Circle, Roland Martin! Yes! Hello, sir, how are you? I'm yes. all good, chilling. Yes, I, I can tell you're chilling, mm -hmm. but I want to know why you got this outfit on. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, I, I have been literally on the road for the last eight days, okay. I'm doing the lecture. I was in North mm -hmm. Carolina, North Carolina A and T, uh -huh. uh, Union Baptist Church with uh, Reverend Dr. William Barber, Bishop Walter Mack. Then I went to Houston uh, to help some folks out there. I was on the campus of Texas Southern University Friday, and then there's 19 black women who are running for judge in, uh, in Harris County. Yes. So I hit about 12 spots with them on Saturday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Flew to Gainesville, hit seven churches uh, Sunday morning. Uh, then I chatted with Andrew Gillen while I was there. Yes. Spoke to the Gainesville NAACP that night. Atlanta here Monday, Ebony's a My Baptist God. church for the prayer rally. Uh, and so, you know, the Bible says the harvest is plentiful, but the, the labor is a few. So you got to put on work clothes yes, when you right. work. You're you working. can't always just be suited and booted in the ascot because you, know, you got to go out there. <laughs> right. You got to hit the streets. Absolutely. Yes, yes you got to work. Absolutely. Of course, you're a very well-respected journalist, but you never shy away from getting your stroll on. No. I As was. an alpha man. That's right. I'm a life member. No, I'm a life member. Okay. Well, look at you right uh -oh. here. Wait a minute. Wait See, a minute. I have to hit him with that. So that's, that's got, so that's that, when I was doing that, literally, I'm always dancing. I'm yeah. always dancing. So when we dropped that. So you look uh, like you're alpha down to the baptism. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, see, you're going that, in the holy water. That was the outfit that I got uh, in Ghana. Okay. Uh, and uh, so that's, I think that's up to about uh, 3 million views between Facebook mm, and Instagram. Nice, so, nice, yeah. nice. But it, what got me with all, all these young brothers like, oh, you know, uh, we, what, is, what is this old head doing? I said, first of all, let me explain something to y'all. <laughs> y'all knew. <laughs> Right, right. I've been, uh, next year be 30 years uh, yeah. uh, in mm, Alpha, so yeah. I'm like, y'all knew. Right, mm. right, I get like, it. Don't no. get it twisted. I get it, I get now, it. My speaking, stuff works. Speak, speaking it? of Alpha, of being older, <laughs> and, uh, you know, because we all old, you know, say, say right. beta, you know. Just, I'll, I'll be 50, 50 uh, uh, next Wednesday, Wednesday. November 14th. Nice, nice. Um, you are, uh, you are a CNN contributor. Mm-hmm. And this is so funny because I've always been on your show. But We've been on the other that, side. I ran three black newspapers. You th ran three black newspapers, but I'm just, this is so cool because it's like now I get to interview you and right. I've always been on your show. True that. that. True yes. that. Uh, but you're a contributor and senior analyst on the Time Morning, J Journal Morning Show. Yeah, 10 years this year. Now, when did you know, Roland, that journalism was something that you knew, that this is it? Right. This is what I want to do. This 14. is who I want to be. 14 years so old. So in Houston, we have, a, we have about 30 plus. Uh, Magnet School of Communications. So I went yeah. to Jack Hayes High School, Magnet School of Communications. So I decided then. So I haven't changed in 36 years. Wow. Mm. Uh, it's always been media. So we had a television, with our own uh, television studio, radio studio, uh, newspaper as well. And so I did all the mediums while I was there. Uh, majored in that, uh, and you know, majored at Texas A&M. Mm -hmm. I graduated uh, from college, and again, uh, and that was a deal. And so, you know, when I walked on Yates campus, I said, "Then I said, I'm gonna leave here as the best student ever to walk through this, walk through these, uh, this, 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 you know, this campus." Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And was eventually voted by, by, by the faculty, right. uh, the best student in my four years there. And now, here's what is interesting about that because when I say that, people go, "Oh my goodness, you know, that's cocky and arrogant." But very interesting how we appreciate that for athletes. Mm. If an athlete says, I want to be one of the best at what I do, we say, oh man, that's dedication. You but right. if you're in any other field, all of a sudden that's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. No, you should want to be the best at what and you whatever do. whatever you do, right. whoever you are. Right. Absolutely. Right, and be able to do all of it. So yeah. if, you, if, you, if you're if you LeBron, oh my God, he can shoot, he can pass, he can dribble, he can rebound, he's a coach on the floor. And so even in media, my deal was I want to learn all the facets of it. So mm -hmm. even so even like last night, something happened, and so people are like, well, why are you setting the camera up? I'm going, because I learn how to do this. Right. right, right. Like I don't have to just say, well, you you do that. You know, you still you know you're still in a constant state of, yes. learning. of, learning. of learning. And so even when we launched my digital show, uh, we had a meeting with one of my pr production folks, and he said, uh, you you actually know the technical stuff, the in front of the camera and the behind, how to stream. And I said, yes. I said mm -hmm. because if somebody lying to me, I can go. That's that not ain't right. true. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or. Yeah. It's not going to cost that much money. Mm -hmm. because so, But if you don't know, then you get the mercy of somebody else. Really right. quickly, you just mentioned your new show, Bringing the Funk, Roland, Mount, Roland Martin Unfiltered. Yep. How much joy does it bring to you that it's yours? Well, uh, I've always, I've always have, had my own media company for a decade. Mm -hmm. uh, and the difference here is I want to do more than just the show. Okay. And so I can get the live stream, event stuff along those lines. So that's why. Okay. All right. So thank, mm -hmm. thank you so much for being here. Now, if you're going to stay with us for the full hour, he is joining us at the table. So make sure you stay exactly where you are. More with Roland Martin yes. coming up in just a second.